guys, how's it going? This is not a vlog. I repeat, this is not a vlog. You're gonna figure it out, I mean, anyways. But I wanted to do something a little bit different today. It's been so crazy since I got back from Miami Swim Week, but I wanted to do a video ever since I got back about all of my favorite suits that I saw while I was down there. Swim Week is such an awesome experience and I had so much fun going there and representing Shore again this year. I'm a buyer, so not only do I go and look at what Shore has to offer, but I also go and see a bunch of the other lines um, that we carry within the store. I spend a lot of time year round looking at bikinis. I follow a lot of brands on Instagram and I wanna make sure that I'm getting the best of the best in Shore. This year we did something a little bit different and we showed our own line, the Shore brand, at Miami Swim Week also which is pretty cool. Instead of doing a vlog today, I wanted to take a more in-depth look at some of my favorite brands that showed at Miami this year. There's a ton of awesome bathing suits coming out in 2016, and I wanted to make sure that you guys knew about them just like I do. Okay, so in no particular order, here are my favorite brands from Miami 2016. So my standout this year of the entire show, a brand that I wasn't really expecting to see a lot from, like I love them and we've carried them for the last two seasons or two years now I think, but this was the first time that I really went and was wowed by their brand. Boys and Arrows holds a little piece of my heart because I feel like it's a bad girl swim line, like it's something that really appeals to me. They talk about how they're whiskey drinking, bikini wearing hooligans, and that's like so up my alley. This year they showed a couple of my favorite prints that I saw from the entire show. This longhorn print, there was a bird print. They did a bird print this year for 2015 which flew out at shore, and they did another one for this season which is pretty cool. A shark tooth print, and then also there were some tie dyes that were really pretty that I just super loved. I just love the whole philosophy behind their line and how it's like a fun, funky girls bikini line. It pretty much is like rock star bikinis. And I'm a rock star bikini wearer, so it's perfect. The next line I wanna talk about is Acacia. They're based out of Hawaii and the designers are Naomi Newworth and Lindy Irons. Lindy is the wife of the late Andy Irons, a great surfer that also came out of Hawaii, I believe, and they have a son named Axel, who is like amazing, and then Naomi Newworth has a little French bulldog, he's not little, he's like kinda big and crazy, and his name is Bronx. Obviously, I follow them way too much on Instagram. They make super sexy bikinis, and one pieces, and Clothing. They did a lot of cool cutouts, like this high-waisted. They do really, really pretty color stories. They did this awesome wetsuit. They're just overall amazing. A lot of it's very neutral. They stick to kind of a color story and awesome prints. And not a lot changes from season to season. There are standout pieces like this mesh that they've been doing for the last um, two years that are awesome. But I love the way that it doesn't have to change very much and still be pretty much what is driving the market of swim. They are the face of swimwear right now, I feel like. Everyone is trying to do what they're doing. It's just, I mean, it's my opinion. I like to think that I'm an expert, I'm, I don't really know, but that's my opinion, is that they are the ones driving the trend. We're awesome, come to Hawaii. If you lived here, maybe you'd be awesome too. That's how I feel. <laughs> From there, I think we'll stick in the print category and move into Maji or Mahi. The verdict is out on how you actually say the name of this line. Uh, they're from Colombia, and I feel like I wanna ask them and be like, how do I say this? But I don't uh, speak Colombian, so I can't. So I just kind of smile away and be like, I love your stuff. <laughs> Mahi has kind of become like the Southern girl's dream. I feel like it's the Lily Pulitzer of swimwear, just because it's the mix and match print, it's super beautiful and it just looks great on pretty much everyone. They have smaller fits, but they also have bigger fits um, on the bottom, things that are a little more full coverage. I feel like they're the best at designing a swimsuit that feels sportier and feels like you have more coverage and feels a little bit more conservative in a good way though. They do super funky things on their runway. They always have this like theme going on and this year it was like travel or like picnic on the beach or something like that. I don't even know, last year it was horses. So this year was a better theme in my opinion for their runway show and they do a lot of fun stuff. They also have some guys in it. And, come on, he's sexy. 
It's like, that is a sexy dude. <laughs> the next line we'll talk about, I think, is Mara Hoffman, just because she's, she's my all-time favorite. She's my favorite designer. I love her clothing. I love her swimwear. There's not enough good things that I can say about Mara. She's just amazing. She just does beautiful things. This year they were in the Versace house in Miami and they did more of like, like a statuesque thing instead of an actual runway show. The girls were all just in the clothes, sitting around and it was beautiful and Moroccan looking and just Mara to me, season to season, it's, it's always different. It's always beautiful and she always knocks it out of the park. I feel like I don't get as excited about Mara as I would about a different brand who brought something new to the table just because I expect it from her. I expect to love everything and this year was no different. Absolutely no different. The same could be said for this next line, Miko. There's a sister design team duo that owns Miko. They're based out of Hawaii, much like Acacia and um, like Tori Praver that I'm gonna talk about soon. And they are adorable. They are the cutest little things ever. They're little tiny, this is them, with some of the models. And they do these beautiful collections. I love the colors. I love kind of the standout prints that they do. It's all very classic, but also very new. Just what I've noticed with customers and also with myself, Miko, pretty much any one of the suits we can get in and it's beautiful on anyone. It's hard sometimes with their materials because they're very buttery and beautiful, so it's not the best for bigger busted girls, but they are doing more tops that are good for bigger busted girls. They've actually kind of branched out and made sure that they have something for everyone. Miko's just really, really cool. I love it. It's a lot like Mara in the way that I expect them to be amazing, so it doesn't wow me kind of like it did the first time I saw it because I just have that expectation from them. We get a lot of suits in from them at Shore because it's a guaranteed sellout. There's not a lot I can say about them except that it's beautiful and it's awesome. Next up, I want to talk about another one of my rock star lines, Speech Riot. I am obsessed with this line. We haven't carried it at Shore before. This is the first season we're carrying it. I feel like we're kind of behind the times for not having it. Like I feel like kind of a schmuck for not having it before this. But it was just one of those things where it was so unique and so different and an elevated price point that, I don't know, we weren't sure. And I feel kind of silly for not having it sooner. Like I wish I would have bought into it sooner. So I'm really glad I am this year. My favorite print, hands down, was this marble print that they did. And they do these beautiful like add-on pieces. Like on the triangle top, there's this gold piece that goes right here that's just like insanely beautiful. And just all of the details. You can tell a lot of work goes into it. You can tell a lot of thought goes into making it beautiful. And I think it is for sure. Another one of my favorites, my all-time favorites, is Tori Praver. I love her, she's a model turned designer, she's from Hawaii, she's absolutely insanely beautiful. She has the cutest kid on the planet. I probably follow her way too hard on Instagram. But she did a lot of beautiful things this year, mixing and matching prints, doing a great color story with like a cranberry that I thought was so beautiful. She's a favorite for me. I don't know if she's a favorite for customers as much as she's a favorite for me. <laughs> I also have a special place in my heart for a line called Bettini's. The designer is Bettina Bell. She was on The Bachelor, the Brad Wilmack season, the first one, not the second one. I love her swimsuit. She was on the cover of Sports Illustrated, not last year, the year before. Not her personally, but one of her suits. These guys that are absolutely adorable and so sexy. And she is one of my favorites to go see in Miami because she shows me the line. A lot of times I go and I'll see all these different brands and it's a rep showing me the line or like an assistant or somebody. And with Bettina, it's always her. She is telling me about it. She's telling me what she was thinking when she was designing it. She has so much heart and soul into loving her collection that I love it just as much as she does. I love the heart bottoms, but I really loved this parrot print that she did this year. We're gonna have a ton of it in shore because I just think it's adorable and classic and so fun for Florida. I have so much respect for somebody who stands behind what they put out there and she kills it. Year to year, she shows up and she just wants to make sure she shares how much she loves her collection with everyone. And I can really respect that and I want to give her business. Everybody, if you want a suit, go get a bikini suit. It's so cute. <laughs> she has so many cute ones coming out. <laughs> 
The biggest highlight of Swim Show for me this year was seeing the Shore brand come to fruition. Courtney, my roommate, one of my best friends, helped design this whole line. I did one of the suits for them called the L-Bell. It's a knotted top, you'll see it. But I just am so happy to see them finally have success on the market and bring it to other stores to carry. It's just so cool to see Shore brand come out. We did a lot of awesome tie-dyes. We did all these awesome cover-ups. There's so many beautiful pieces that we showed in Miami and I can't wait to see them all come out and I get to own all of them and wear them like crazy. The best part about the shore suits is that you can go watch the video that I did for them for Miami right down here if you wanna go see kind of a behind the scenes peek of all of that collection that's coming out. I'm so excited about it. So I think that kind of sums up everything that I saw in Miami that I really truly loved and I'm excited about. I hope this gets you guys excited about swimsuits. I'll definitely do more swim videos once we start getting all this swimwear in. It starts usually in October and goes through March and April. A lot of this stuff that I saw in Miami. It's so crazy to think that I'll look at something in July and then I won't see it physically in person again until April. Like the craziest thing ever, that's what? That's nine months, that's a baby. That's the gestation period of a human baby before we get to see that bathing suit. It's so crazy. I can't believe that fashion works like that. I know a lot of them are super expensive, but I think it's worth it. You get a Victoria's Secret bathing suit, which I love their styles, they're super fun, but you wear it in the swimming pool once, it changes color, or you rub up against the side of the swimming pool on the wall or on the stairs and it gets all, you know, pilly and like all those little pieces, threads start to come out. A bathing suit from Mar Hoffman doesn't do that. A bathing suit from Miko will never do that. You could like rub a nail file on it and it's not gonna come undone. These are suits that are gonna last you for years. So I always suggest finding one of your favorites, um, getting excited about it, saving up your money and making sure you have a great bathing suit. The things that you have to feel the most comfortable in, you should spend the most money on. Like denim should fit you really well, so you should buy a good pair of denim. Shoes should fit you well and should be beautiful and should not hurt your feet or do anything bad to your feet. You should spend money on those. Bathing suits, you're basically naked. Spend some money on it. T-shirts, come on. Get your T-shirts at Target, they're awesome. <laughs> All right, y'all, that was super fun. I love talking bikini talk, it's my favorite. I will be back again with a vlog soon. I hope you guys liked it and I can't wait to see you guys on the other side. Let's throw a random clip at the end because that's how I roll and I will see you guys tomorrow. Talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs> Candy, not so bright. Smart. Something not brightly not colored. Uh, good. I make really terrible decisions. Hey, do we have more of these? <laughs> Just putting it out there for the world. Do you make more of these? Yep. Yeah. In a box. Those are in a box. Where does that box be? <laughs> Where they always They're in a box. I wanna buy something. I don't know Do you what buy though. Me something? Nope. Because I have all the money in the world. Or there's a Rachel Pally skirt, the one with the mesh on the side. I am not buying you anything, honestly. I love you. I know. You're buying me um Ipanemas. I'll totally buy you Ipanemas. Yeah. Those are flip flops. And I was supposed to get Candace a pair in Miami, and they were sold out when I got there. She's mad at me. Okay, it's gonna be cool. We're gonna work it out. We're back again for another day at training camp. Love to see the flag flying. Rachel's here with me. She did yesterday with me too. So we're just pumping out training camps like nobody's business. We're like here more than the players are. Probably. Probably. <laughs> I doubt Rock that. We performance yesterday too. <laughs> we did. We, we killed it. We shook it off. We shook it all we off. We shook it all off. Feeling 22. <laughs> or whatever other Taylor Swift lyrics are appropriate.